Today, I'm going to visit two working phases of the coal mine, the excavation working phase and the mining working phase. We can see that there are a few staffs here. Instead, we can see these cameras, big machines, and screens in the operation rooms. Thanks to the development of technology, coal mining in Shandong is embracing digitalization. What we're now seeing is a tunnel bore machine. Its operation used to require at least six people, but now everything can be done remotely with one to two people monitoring on site. Now, we are heading to the mining phase. As the first production site is characterized by a narrow working space, many machineries, poor visual environments, and high temperature. In the past, the coal phase has frequent safety accidents and is a key area in the coal mine safety management. But now, the scenario is quite different. What everyone who goes down the mine fears most is rock burst, a serious hazard that could cause fatalities and severe economic losses. Pressure relief drilling is a widely used method to release high stress concentrations and prevent the occurrence of rock burst damage. Currently, the coal mine is working with Huawei for upgrading. With the help of Pangol models, drilling has become safer and more effective. The Getting people out of uh, the underground environment is, is a very good way to go. It reduces risk, it improves productivity. If you've got a leader, as we're seeing in the Chinese coal industry, there'll be other people stepping up and saying, ah, it can be done. I always knew it could be done. I just didn't want to take the risk myself. Everybody wants to see a big success in underground automation because they'd all like to automate themselves, but there isn't yet the belief. It's definitely something to look forward to. As I said, everybody will gain some belief from seeing it done.